Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, bread and butter time. This is my bread and butter video. These are items that I sold on eBay for $30 or less. So um, still some really, really great margins in this video. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And there are a bunch. So we are going to get started. And before I forget, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. All right, here we go. All right, the first item, let me double check and make sure. Oh, see, I forgot to pull up the screen share. I'm glad I checked. Okay, now we're gonna go. Oh my goodness, could you imagine if I would've went through the whole video and forgot to screen share? Oh, that would've been awful. Okay, the first item, this vintage beer tap. Um, this, I believe, is my last one. I bought a bunch of beer taps at a garage sale and this one took the longest to sell. Um, I think it averaged out to be about $1.50 each. I can't remember exactly, but it was a lot. Um, but I sold this for $17.60 and the buyer paid shipping. So definitely recommend picking up beer taps if you can see them. Some of them are big money bolos and some of them are bread and butter like this. The next item is this Scooby-Doo ornament. I picked this up at a garage sale for like a buck. Maybe it was 50 cents. It was another bundle deal. I sold it for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, um, I don't, I'm not going to show you many clothing items, but I did get this at a garage sale for, I think, a dollar. So I'm going to go ahead and show you if I get clothes at garage sales, just to kind of give you an idea of what you can pick up and how cheap you can get things at garage sales. But uh, I paid eight, I'm sorry, I paid a dollar and I sold these for $18 plus shipping. Oh my goodness, the wedding dress. Please, if you need a wedding dress, come buy one from my store. So I had somebody give me wedding dresses free. And it really wasn't free because they took forever to list. And, you know, I've got the whole description of the dress and the measurements, which measuring these things is not a piece of cake. It's a big pain. And this dress was very, very cool. Um, and I took a best offer of $30 and the buyer paid shipping. I just want them gone. And again, it was some connection on Facebook and they gave them all to me just free. Like, come pick them up. They're yours. And I understand why now. Because <laughs> they are hard to sell. Um, but I've made over $1,000 on them. So was it worth it? I guess. Would I do it again? No way. No way. No way. Not even if they were free. No way. Okay. The next item is this Lane Bryant watch. This came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. I sold this for $25 plus shipping. Just a Lane Bryant watch. My husband put a battery in it for me and it was good to go. And it sold fast. All right, you guys, this is from my I got it free. The garage sale video where I showed you guys everything I got free from that garage sale. If you guys have not seen that video, you got to go check it out. Amazing. I mean, I just was filling my car. It was awesome. But this is one of the items and it sold for $13.20 and the buyer paid shipping. And the same day I sold this one to a different buyer for $13.20 plus shipping. And I still have Scooby-Doo left. So pretty cool. Um, I've, I'm doing pretty well with that free stuff. I'm pretty excited about it. The next item, I got these free also. Um, these are those vintage carnival ducks. And I took a best offer of $25 plus shipping. So I didn't put the count. I'm surprised. But it's what you see there. I mean, they're old. They're vintage. They've got some discolorations. They've got numbers on the bottom like this. And I, like I said, I got them free. So I was like, 25 bucks. Yep, sold. A lot of eight tag books. You guys know I've been selling tag books like crazy. Um, I sold these for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. I got these in a garage sale in a huge lot of leapfrog items. And I have almost sold all of it. I still have some left, but I've sold more than half. The next item is this Pop Sockets. Um, this was from the Toys R Us haul when they were going out of business. And I sold this one for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. And I had about $1.50 in these. 
All right, these came from a garage sale and a big bulk buy of like hairdresser stuff. Um, so I probably have like 25 cents in these. And they're vintage, super cool. I did take a best offer of 10. I've had them a while and I just was happy to see them go for $10 plus shipping. This I've had for a while, I'm surprised, but it's pretty cool. It's X-Men Spider-Man 1994 and they're just little action figures. And I took a best offer of 20, oh, nope, I'm sorry. I had it on sale. It sold for $22 plus shipping. The next item, okay, you guys, this thing is really small teeny tiny and it sold for $13.20 and the buyer paid shipping. This came from a bulk buy at a garage sale. I bought a bunch of toys so I probably have pennies in it. So I guess my point is don't dismiss things just because they're this big. You can still make great money. I mean the margins on that are great. I still made like what 11 or 12 bucks. So profit that's awesome for it took me two seconds. The next item is this craft punch lot. I pick stuff up like this at garage sales. Um, I probably have a couple bucks in it. And I took a best offer of $16 and the buyer paid shipping. I probably could have sold this separate right here and maybe this made a little more money, but happy to see it go. This is a mixed lot of guitar string packaging only. No strings, guys. No strings. And I sold some of the strings, but this was the packaging. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to throw it on there and just see what happens. Maybe I can sell it. Not a big money item. I sold them for eight bucks plus shipping, but it took two seconds to list. Okay, maybe a little bit longer because I did have to lay them all out. And so that one took a little longer, but still worth the profits, I feel. Here's a vintage kimono. And I told you guys this in my other video. I had three of these. And they have been sitting and sitting and sitting. I think I had them overpriced. Um, I took a best offer of 25 plus shipping, but I sold all three in like a week, week and a half of each other. It was so weird. Just all of a sudden, sudden everybody wanted kimonos. I don't know. Uh, this Barbie dress, I had two of them. The second one sold and I sold it for $19.80 and the buyer paid shipping. So the black tag is what you're looking for, guys. Um, that's how you know that it is vintage and might have some value. The next item are these earrings from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. Sold these for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. All right, guys, I have a video on stickers. Stickers to be on the lookout for. These um, are not like a crazy bolo. They're a bread and butter item. But there are some stickers that go for crazy money. Go check out my stickers bolo category video. Crazy. Um, these sold for $10 and 80 cents and the buyer paid shipping. This is two sheets of these stickers. They are from 2005. So they're retired, but definitely, definitely a very cool bread and butter bolo. Here's the other kimono. This one I sold for 20 plus shipping. And I got all three of those. I can't remember exactly what I paid. It was like maybe 15 for all of them, maybe 18. Um, I thought they were going to do better than they did, but I still made a profit. The next item are these Connect Screamin' Serpent replacement parts. They are from that Screamin' Serpent um, Connect set that I got at a garage sale for $5. I decided to part it out because it was missing some stuff. And boy, am I glad I did because it has paid off. I have made so much more money parting this out than I would have selling it whole. So I sold this for $9.72 plus shipping. And I have a video on that also. I parted out this and a Ninja Turtle playset. The next item is this Legends, DC's Legends of Tomorrow DVD. It is sealed. I picked it up at a garage sale. I usually pay a dollar or 50 cents for my um, DVDs. So this sold for $16.20 plus shipping. This Miss Michigan hat, it's a starter hat. Um, it was in excellent condition and I probably paid a buck for it, maybe 50 cents. That's usually what I pay for hats at a garage sale and I sold it for $15 plus shipping. All right, these bracelets. Um, I took a best offer of $12. Unfortunately, the buyer messaged me and said 
that this cream one had a stone missing and I was looking at my pictures and I do not see a stone missing. So maybe it got damaged during shipment. I don't know, but I told them to open a return and I would give them a $3 partial refund. Actually, first I told them to just return all of the items, but she said she already threw the bracelet away. So technically I could have said, well, sorry, but you know, I'd like to keep the peace. I'd hope that maybe she'll come back and be a repeat customer. So I offered her the $3 refund and she was happy with that, but she has not opened the return re request yet. So still waiting to hear from her on that. I'm saying her, but it could be a he, maybe he bought them for his, his woman or something. I don't know. The next item is this vintage Barbie's 1960s sheath dress. And here's the tag again. I sold this for $18 plus shipping. Oh, another brown drip sold. All right, you guys, this one sold for $10.80. It's a McCoy. And I thought that when I purchased all of this brown drip, it was going to be a bolo. And it has turned out to be a bunch of bread and butter. But I am making money, but I hate shipping breakables. So lesson learned. The next item is this Mary Kay lip liner. Um, I got these for like, I don't know, 25 cents, maybe less each at a garage sale. It was a bulk bundle buy of a bunch of Mary Kay stuff. I sold this for $10.80 plus shipping. All right, these vintage Michael Jackson folders. I picked up at a garage sale less than a buck and I sold them for $12 plus shipping. All right, these mirrors were from my I Got It Free garage sale and I have sold five of them. Um, I've sold three at $13.20 and then somebody did the buy one, get one 10% off. So I think it came to like $12 in some sense and the buyer paid shipping and I'm thrilled with that. So I've already made 60, let's see. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, about 60 bucks. Not bad for free, right? Super exciting. Again, go check out that garage sale video. You'll be amazed at how much I got free. Um, this little guy, it's a Japanese um, Kokeshi, Kokashi, I'm not sure how to say it, doll. I got this at an estate sale and it is, I've had it a while. I don't want to say it's a stale listing. I think I just overpriced it. And once I reduced the price, I think that um, that really helped things. But I sold this for best offer of $30 plus shipping. And I had like a buck or two in it. The next item is this vintage Barbie doll made in Japan, four parts. And I right here put legs, bad condition. She's got some issues. Um, you can see on her butt. Right here, it says made in Japan. That is a good sign. Um, yeah, her legs are whew, bad, bad shape. But I still sold her for $17.60 plus shipping. So maybe somebody will use the arms or the body. I don't really know how all that works. But yeah, there she is. The next item, and I'm sharing this because I picked it up at a garage sale for like a buck. These are Brooks Brothers men's pants, and they sold for $22 and they sold pretty quick. So uh, definitely be on the lookout for Brooks Brothers. Or maybe I got lucky. Maybe somebody needed khaki linen pen pants. I could be wrong. Um, this Disney pen, Epcot 2008, I sold this for $20.24 plus shipping. These Maxwell tapes I picked up at um, thrift store. I think it was, nope. Maybe this was the garage sale. I don't know. I've gotten them at the thrift store and the garage sale, and I'm starting to mix them up, but probably a dollar, two bucks. And I sold them for $13.20 plus shipping. This mask came from a uh, state sale. It took a while to sell. I think I paid like a buck for it, and it sold for $14 best offer plus shipping. Here's some more stickers. These are Sandy Lion, I think is how you say it. Kim P Possible stickers, two sheets. Sold them for $8 plus shipping. All right, guys, this is from my I Got It Free garage sale. It's a 2013 Jose Cuervo. Um, it's a collector's box. So when you buy it, it has alcohol in it. 
and then people collect the boxes. I took a best offer of $22 plus shipping for this. And I did not mean to put that one in this video. Um, this right here is the Loving Family Dollhouse. And they're the twins. And they're super, super cute. And I took a best offer of $23 plus shipping. And I always pick up Loving Family, like dollhouse stuff, anything dollhouse, I pick it up. And I like, I just like listing toys. So this guy um, is a UFC fighter, Chuck Iceman Liddell. He's not in great shape. He's got some um, marks on him, some paint wear. But uh, somebody bought him for $10.56 plus shipping. And I probably had pennies in him. It was a bulk toy buy. This elephant bangle bracelet came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. That is weird. I have a Fisher Price castle sitting over there that I'm going to list. And it just started going off. That's weird. Uh, kind of creepy. Uh, and that Fisher Price stuff has been sitting there since last summer. It is a whole tote full of Fisher Price. And I just, some of it's kind of big and bulky and I just don't want to ship it. I don't want to find boxes for it. So it just keeps sitting there hanging out. Okay, so the elephant, $30 plus shipping. The next item is this antique movie uh, camera. It's a uh, real film. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know much about it, but that's what it looks like on the inside. It's untested. I don't know. I sold it for $17.60 plus shipping. I don't even remember where I got it or why on earth I picked it up. It was probably a buck or less or it was thrown in with stuff that I bought because I don't remember it. But yeah, $17.60 plus shipping. I made a profit, so I guess it's good. The next item is this Lego Friends replacement bag. This bag was opened. I think um, it may have been missing something. It may have been complete. I don't know. Um, so I just disclosed that and it sold for $17.60 plus shipping. And the last item are these Lane Bryant plus size jeans. I picked these up for at a garage sale for a buck or two. And Lane Bryant plus size items, they do well. These are pre-owned jeans that sold for $22 plus shipping. Um, they are short, so that probably helped um, because, you know, the short and the long inseams are harder to find. So definitely be on the lookout for those when you're out shopping garage sales or at thrift stores because they can um, bring in a nice profit. All right, you guys, that's my bread and butter bolo video. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I also do videos, um, big money bolo video, um, videos, what sold videos are for the higher priced items I sell. So if you want to check those out, that would be awesome. I do category videos, which I kind of talked about some of those. I do thrift store, like thrift with me, garage sale with me type videos. So check out something else if you're new to the channel. As always, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and have a great night.